Ms. Sharp told me the dream had called. What is her position in the courthouse? Does she work for the county? She, she has no she official capacity, right? Intercom when I made you aware that but, the sheriff wouldn't be here due to an emergency. She's a so, contractor. And she's speaking for the sheriff and the county in this matter that everybody in this county now knows about. I think it's, it suffices it's that if I think it suffices that if the sheriff is told uh, you or anyone else that he can't make it and you share that information with us, that's okay. I mean, so I don't think I think it's shameful that he's not here. He's watching. Good if he were here. He's here in spirit and watching on that too. Um, so that's where we are, and um, well, I. I and I, I should have done, had this done, but is it possible to get into the jailhouse tonight? Yeah, if there's anybody over there, you could. If they were. I, I have no I mean, I think we ought to go over and you. look and make sure the camera's there. And, I mean, because this right here really don't help me a bit. I'm, I'm glad you've done it, but it don't really do It has nothing to do with the jail cameras, no. If I can... See if there's anybody over there we can go. Maybe I will get custodian to come. Let's, in yeah, well, let's remember it's a county building, okay? It is not a separate home. I mean, it was very obvious it was taken from up high. We pay down. the heat bill. We pay the light bill. We pay the salaries of the people who work there. Okay. If, if we can get into the building tonight and if Mrs. Price is still here, I'd like her to come along. Yes. I'd also like to say, just for the record, that I'm not uh, condoning. Uh, unprofessional behavior expressed on camera, but the issue here is one of uh, law. Uh, a, a gesture expressed on camera, I'm not my knowledge, isn't, or over in the jail isn't a, a violation of the law. What could be a violation of the law, and what I'm concerned about is the improper use of the camera footage. Would there be a deputy on duty that they could have come by? We could have nine one one page of someone on call. Would like me to try that? Sheriff Janice. Yeah, well, let's have Sheriff. Janice reaches by phone. Can you not reach us on the It's probably over 9-11. Don't well, they have radios? Where's possibly. the sheriff? I have no idea. Well, let's reach. how do you reach him in an emergency? I call 911. Well, let's call 911 and get the sheriff on the phone. Hold on. Hold on. Let's not call 911. No, I mean, I don't have to call the sheriff. So there. let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I'm thinking that if there's a, a simple enough opportunity to go visit the jail building, I think that's a fine idea. I think more importantly is the agenda item at hand is uh, moving forward with the ethics complaint. After all, the ethics commission will be the one that will have to determine mm -hmm. if the footage and their opinion is from any camera of interest to us. Um, well, I think the sheriff will have to answer that in writing under oath. Yeah, I suppose so. It looked to me from looking at the the photo, that the photo was taken up high, you would have there. to have an arm about 10 feet tall to take the, a vantage uh, point from... Yeah, the booking counter is, is there. Corey was right here, Robin was right there. I'm holding a dog. If you look at that picture closely, you can see it's a little brown dog. One of them had um, in, the, in the building, and the door that goes in between what used to be the booking in the old... Uh, so was anybody center. standing from a vantage point it, it, could it's have taken that the picture? Top. It was, it's from, it, to, to my left, of I was standing... Was anybody else in the room? Corey and Robin and myself, and then the sheriff came in through okay, that. Okay, so it would be impossible to take it from a cell phone because nobody was in the room to take it. Is that correct? That's correct, and they didn't have anything thank in their you. hands at the time. Yeah, all right, thank you. And the vantage point of the... Was up to the top to the Would left. have been from what you understand is the vantage point shown in the, the film. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied with that. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I was there. Thank you. Um, I'll moved. just go ahead and uh, just ask. I, I'd like to entertain a motion to uh, proceed with uh, filing a formal complaint with the Ethics Commission. I second that. <laughs> I, was, oh, did you have I, was in, I wanted to entertain him. Oh, you want, oh, well, He's I, entertaining I you're him. you're making a motion. Well, I'll make the motion. Okay, he makes the motion. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second it. Any further discussion? I think that the comments of the prosecutor would lead us to believe that this had to have been from a security camera. There was nobody else in the room, according to her statement just now, and uh, the vantage point shown in the movie uh,
fits with your recollection of the location of the camera in the room. So I would say that there is a, we've met our burden of proof, and if it be denied, let the sheriff come forward and deny it. Otherwise, I'm quite comfortable with making the complaint and letting the chips fall as they may. I'd venture to say the camera's model and all that will be on the tape if you decompile the frames. I, uh, I, I'm in agreeing with this upon the remarks that Ms. Price made, assuming that it's correct. Uh, so uh, I think it's a, it's a good move. We, we're filming this meeting now, by the way, and the... I wish the, the sheriff could have been here to <coughs> that, uh, <coughs> Yes. That Ms. Price just stated will be part of this recording. This recording can and will be sent to the um, Ethics Commission because they say uh, if, if you or any county commissioner or employee has credible information, um, then you'd be welcome to file a home complaint. So I consider this discussion as from Mrs. Price's credible information. And the video recording is, in and of itself, credible. Okay, uh, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, all in favor of starting the complaint process with the Ethics Commission say aye. 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 Motion carries three. Okay. Right. Yes, I'll start. And as process. part of the complaint, I would like you to add the third issue about the election hearing, besides okay. the two issues about access to uh, strictly private information. And again, I, I want to emphasize that my main concern is that this is an invasion of privacy, and I'm worried about juveniles and other people who need the protection of privacy to come before the courts and are entitled to it. And it, it we, we really have got to send a message that yeah, we, can, we just can't have this. Somebody else is going to try. If he can get it, I can get it. Remember that through a freedom of information. If this is declared to be public, then I will have the right to ask for it. I'd like to uh, to close this item up by just personally saying that um, it breaks my heart that this has happened. We have a lot of work to do to uh, regain the trust of the county government and our people that this kind of thing won't happen again. <clears throat> That'll be all on that item for now.